Welcome to Sheet Director. We're excited to introduce our innovative Google Workspace add-on. Simplify data exchange between apps with Sheet Director, query data, post info from Sheets to apps, and keep everything in sync. In this video, we will see how Sheet Director can help you to automate the integration between Google Sheets and Asana. Let's launch Sheet Director and choose Asana from the available list of applications. I will name the service as Asana Query Service. I will then click on connect to the Asana. I will then select the entity named tasks. I will then select the workspace. I will then select the project. I will pick the required fields from the fields list. Additionally, I will also set the max results to 100, limiting the Asana records to 100. For the destination settings, I will select the quantum nexus sheet tab to present all the values from Asana. By default, it begins from cell A1. Also, we have the option to create a new sheet by clicking on the plus icon. And turn on or off the include header and clear sheet before getting the records. I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Upon successful execution, we can see that the chosen fields from the list are effectively brought from the Asana and seamlessly presented within the selected sheet. Now, let's look at how to create Asana records from Google Sheets. Now, let's make another service and name as Asana Post Service for creating the records from the sheet. I will choose Post Service. Then I will select a specific project, workspace, and assignee from the list. For the source settings, I will select the Quantum Nexus sheet tab to present all the values from Asana. By default, it begins from cell A1. For the result column settings, select the status and result from the dropdown or create from the plus icon. This mapping guides us on where to place the resulting information in the status and result columns. Selecting the source sheet will automatically show intelligent mapping. Click on yes for intelligent mapping. This mapping aligns the fields between the sheet and the Asana columns. We can manually map by using the column dropdown. To create a new mapping, you can simply click on the plus icon. Deleting a field mapping is as easy as clicking the delete icon above each mapped field, except for mandatory fields. Now, I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Initially, the status in the status column will be empty. Upon execution, the execution control panel will appear and tell us how many records are ready to post in the Asana. At this point, we have two options, post now and close. I will click on post now, which will create the records in the Asana. After successful execution, each record will be updated individually in the status and result columns. You can also notice the links to the created Asana record. Clicking on these links will allow us to view the newly created record. Let's prepare a new service named Asana Sync. This synchronizes the records between Google Sheets and the Asana. I will choose Synchronize as a service type. The synchronized service allows users to automatically synchronize the records between Google Sheets and the Asana. I will pick a particular specific project and workspace from the list and then select the necessary fields from the provided fields list. I will set the max results to 100, restricting to only 100 records. The synchronization process requires the synchronized keys to match rows in Google Sheets with corresponding data in the Asana. You must select the synchronized keys in the fields list. It is essential to note that these keys are mandatory for the synchronization to occur. When there is a conflict between different data in Google Sheets and Asana for the same records, either side needs to be overwritten to maintain synchronization. You can opt for either Asana wins or Google Sheet wins to choose which data to keep. In the Asana wins scenario, the most recent data from Asana will overwrite and update the corresponding record in Google Sheets. On the other hand, in the Google Sheet wins, the most recent data from Google Sheets will overwrite and update the corresponding data in the Asana. First, let me choose Google Sheet wins. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will opt for the Sync Asana sheet tab and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the settings, let us execute by clicking on the execute button. The execution control panel will appear. If there are no records found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the sheet director will get the records for us. A prompt will appear, posing the question, your Google Sheets seems to be empty. Do you want to get the records from Asana first? At this point, two options will be presented, get now or close. I will select the get now option, which will fetch the records from Asana. If you already have Asana data in Google Sheets, then you need to select or establish columns to display synchronization status and results. By clicking the plus symbol, I will add the status and result columns to the sheet and make any necessary updates to update the records. I will update one of the record in the sheets. 
Subsequently, I will click the Execute button. Upon successful execution, the execution control panel will reappear with synchronization details. Number of new records found in Asana. Total records that are ready to synchronize from the Google Sheet. How many records will be updated in the Asana from the total records? Additionally, it will be asked, are you okay to synchronize? This query is accompanied by two buttons, Sync Now and Close. I will opt for the Sync Now button. Throughout the execution process, each record will be updated individually within the Asana. Upon successful update, the status column in Google Sheets will depict the status of the data. Newly updated data will be marked as synced successfully while pre-existing data will be indicated as already synchronized. Once the synchronization is successful, a link to the updated Asana records will be provided. Clicking on this link allows us to view the updated record. Now, let me choose Asana wins. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will opt for the Quantum Nexus sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the settings, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. After executing, the execution control panel will appear. If there are no records found in the Google Sheet to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the records for us. If you already have Asana data in Google Sheets, then you need to select and establish columns to display, synchronization status, and results. By clicking the plus symbol, I will add the status and result columns to the sheet. Simultaneously, I will create a new record in the Asana. After creating a new record, I will click the Execute button. Upon execution, the execution control panel will reappear with the synchronization details. How many new records are found in the Asana? Total number of records that are ready to synchronize from the Google Sheet. How many records will be updated in the Google Sheet from the total records? Along with these details, I will also be asked, are you okay to synchronize? I will again click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. Throughout the successful execution process, each record will be updated individually. The status column in Google Sheets will depict the status of the records. Newly updated records will be marked as Sync successfully, while pre-existing data will be indicated as already synchronized. Also, the new records will be fetched from the Asana. Until this point, we observed the synchronization of Asana records originating from cell A1. Now, let's modify the cell value to H7 and proceed with the synchronization process. Let's execute by clicking on the Execute button. The execution control panel will appear. If there are no records found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the records for us. If you already have Asana data in Google Sheets, then you need to establish the status and result column for synchronization. I will click on the Get Now button to get the Asana records. Let's execute by clicking on the Execute button. Upon successful execution, the execution control panel will reappear with the synchronization details. Additionally, I will be asked, are you okay to synchronize? I will click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. After successful synchronization, you can see the status of each record individually in the Google Sheets. In this way, you can synchronize data from any part of your Google Sheets. Hence, utilizing Sheet Director makes it easy to query Asana and display them in Google Sheets. Creating new Asana records from Google Sheets, and finally keeping the information synchronized between the Google Sheets and Asana. With Sheet Director, you effortlessly harness the magic of Asana. Seamlessly query, display, and transform your Asana data right within Google Sheets. Experience the future of organization and data synergy with the Sheet Director. Thanks for watching the video.